Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the See Inside books. Now I have more of these books than any other book. I have See Inside How Things Work, um, The Lift the Flap, which is basically the same thing, uh, questions and answers about our world, See Inside Weather and Climate, and See Inside Your Body. Uh, Tristan's favorite is See Inside Your Body and How Things Work. So let me show you See Inside Your Body first. This is really cool. It has over 50 flaps. Contents include your body, eating and exercising, or no, I'm sorry, eating and excreting, breathing air, pumping blood, bones and muscles, brain power, the senses, drinking and peeing, and body words. So it starts out showing you just your systems. And there's some flaps here too, but I'll show you some of the different cooler flaps that I think are really neat. Here's eating and excreting, so it shows you digestive system. And you can open up. You know, this is nonfiction, obviously, so it tells you a lot of different facts. Um, like this one says, food nutrients are stored and in your sorted and stored in your liver. Your blood takes nutrients to your liver from your small intestine, and it shows you. It you know, points to your blood and liver, and as your stomach turns food into a thick liquid. You open it up, and it says food is broken down in your stomach. First, it's squeezed, and then it's soaked in acid. And as you can see, you might have noticed it has a number three here. So you, you start from the beginning most times, although Tristan will just pick what he wants to see. But, you you know, you follow it and it goes down like here's two, three. Um, no, I'm just skipping. Then it goes to four over here, five. But I just want to show you some of these cool flaps. So here's like your intestines. And it opens them up, shows you what the intestines, you know, the villi are inside. And how leftover food is squeezed along your large intestines, and how it eventually comes out. So, I don't know, it's pretty interesting, especially for little kids. They want to know, you know what happens when they're eating. And, you know, going to the bathroom is always interesting for them in the beginning. Here's breathing air. So, it talks about your lungs, of course, and how you breathe through your mouth, goes through, and then, oops, let me do this with one hand. Let me see. No nails in one hand. There we go. The flaps shows your lungs, heart, and your diaphragm. And then it takes you into a bigger section of your lungs. So this book is about 8 by 10, 8 and a half by 10. So you open it up, obviously, double, and then you just get to see a lot more, which is really cool. This is about smoking with unhealthy lungs. It's how your ribs are joined by muscles. You know, it has these little, there's just flaps everywhere, as you can, you might be able to tell, but they're just really detailed. It's really a lot of fun. Tristan loves these books, and I like that he's learning. So here's Pumping Blood, the next page. And this is a close-up of your heart. And again, there's dozens of flaps all over the place. I'm just not opening them all up because it'll take too much time, but they're everywhere and they're really cool. There's bones and muscles. I'll show you like this one on the foot. It talks about your joints. And so the joints between your ankle and toes are called sliding joints. They can slide or twist. And then here's like your knee. Flap right here. And so it shows you your knee joint. So your knee joint lets your leg move forward and back like a door hinge. It shows your skull. It says your skull is a thick layer of bone that protects your brain. And then you have 27 bones in each of your hands. They have long names such as metacarpals. Okay, the next page. Brain power. So this has information all about your brain. Then it goes into the senses. I think this is Tristan's favorite page. But it shows you know, your nose, your eyes, your taste, and your hearing. I like this one with the eardrum. It shows you. You go through your ear. It has the numbers. You know, one, two. You go three. You go all the way through. And you lift the flap up for number four. It shows you the inside of your ear and how it travels to your brain. And this is also your skin, so it shows your hair and how 
you get, you know, how your skin is when you're cold and with the goosebumps. And then lastly, they have drinking and peeing, shows about the bladder, and final page is your body words, and it also has a link to the internet for uh, further learning. Okay, here's C inside how things work. I'm just going to flip this real quickly since I'm, I don't want to make this too much longer. Here's your table of contents. Oh, you know what? I already did this one, so I don't have to do this again. Let me stop and pause. Okay, moving on. Weather and climate. It's really awesome. This has the table of contents. And this has a ton of different flaps as well. Where does weather come from? It shows about the troposphere, the atmosphere. It talks about the pressure, different pressure. Here's like a giant flap right here. Well, not a giant, but it's pretty big. It's like four inches. And it shows you about different things about ozone and the get different gases in the air. About fossil fuels and greenhouse gas. Here's world climates. So you can see about how the freaking throughout the world, tropical in Africa. You know, here's about a desert in South America. It shows you where that is. And all over. Here's water and clouds. This shows you obviously how the water is evaporated and matrix clouds and how it comes back down as rain. And there's all these little flaps in here, which is really cool. Here's wispy clouds. It tells you like why each cloud is the way they are. Pretty cool. Here's a close-up of raindrops and how it makes ice is made. Sun and air. And just why is it you know, colder in the mountains? There's desert. I'll even shows some things about animals in winter. There's a flap here about the northern lights. Aurora Borealis. Wild winds. It shows you know how the te world temperatures are affected and the currents that go through water and in the air. And hurricanes, wind storms, icy extremes in the Arctic and other cold places. There's some more cool, you know, different flaps. Shows you about the animals that live there, how the snow blows and. How do you gonna have the avalanche because of the snow? It shows about the polar ice caps melting. And then changing climates. So about millions of years ago, shows or hundred million years ago about dinosaurs, twenty million years ago, woolly mammoths, etc. And it also has internet links. Okay, um, that's it for this one. I will show you another one, lift the flap, questions and answers next, in the next video.